so you get it. Consequently, you can take any pole arm and turn it into this kind of weapon. Let's say you, you don't want to use faith, right? Because it's a faith weapon. You can take this Ash of War. I don't know where I got this. You'd have to look it up. The Ash of War Sacred Ring of Light and put it into any other pole arm. And you'd still get the Frisbees. Valengar says, I thought for sure this would be my next game, but I'm a sucker for the Lego games and the Skywalker saga is so fun. I hope you enjoy it. When is that already out? All right, so what did we get? We got uh, ourselves a new weapon. Hello. Hello. Why were you asking me where I was? You haven't been here? No, 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 no. I, I, I have, but I just forgot where it was on the map. Oh, okay. Thanks for the grilled cheese and strawberries and raspberries. And a cookie. Um, I don't know what the icon of this sword looks like. So now we got to go. Is it this? Yes. Okay. Curved great sword wielded by magma worms. Oh, this is like their claw that they were smacking me with. The shape resembles a dragon's jaw and is covered with hard scales. It is said these landbound dragons were once human heroes who partook in drag dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies shadows of their former self but you can use the unique skill of magma guillotine grab the scale sword in both hands as a as a, a worm would hold it in its mouth and leap forward smashing into the ground and triggering a blast of magma follow up with an additional input to perform a chopping attack take strength 24 dex and faith wow i need to be stronger i could probably do it with two hands though Look what Bog can do with his hands. Oh, it's hairy. I've never had a hairy sword before. Uh, DJ, welcome to the stream. Uh, she likes your otter emotes so much. I'll be happy to do that for you. Thank you so much, DJ. Very much appreciate it. You have a bit of the O shiny on the weapons and I fear my stats will end up all over the place. Certain builds kind of need all the stats. Like the only stat I don't need anything of is intelligence <laughs> with this build. But that's the beauty of being able to respec. You know, you get a new weapon. You're like, that is the new coolest looking thing ever. I want my character to use it. And you go and you respec. That's something. Oh, I can't get my FP back. Hold on. You haven't gotten to the point where you can respec yet? Yeah. But you'll get there. Just know you have flex more flexibility once you hit that spot. That doesn't seem like the follow-up. That's just the that's just the heavy attack. How do I do the follow-up? Oops. Follow up with additional input to perform a chopping attack. I mean it seems like a chopping attack, but that's just the heavy attack. Wait. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that's a normal heavy attack. So you can keep following up. Oh, I got a two-handed. Chop! Chop! Okay, there you go. Speaking of Chop Chop, I played uh, some Conan Chop Chop with my boys this weekend. It's a co-opable uh, rogue light it's got some jank to it not super deep 
but we were having fun. We were laughing about it. Sorry about that. Malangar says, gotta work again, my friend, but I'll leave this minimized so you get the views. Thank you, Malangar. You're awesome. We got magma. Liquid hot magma. All right, was there anything else in this room? I actually don't want to use this right now. It's an option. It's an option. I, I, it's going to be tough for something to tear me away from the halo side. I really like this. By the way, you guys who uh, watched that boss fight and were super envious about the glowy frisbee just realize that boss seemed particularly susceptible to that attack if you realize if you looked i was when i was just striking it it wasn't doing a lot of damage and that thing seemed to do way more damage there have been bosses where that frisbee doesn't do anything <laughs> so just keep that in mind <laughs> it's not like it's super uh op against everything I have raisins. I have raisins on my hot bar. All right, we gotta look for uh, ways to jump off. Like that video over Don I sent you using my sorcery, that technique did not even work on anything. I watched that a couple times more, Evil Twin Link, and it even seems like you, at the beginning of that, you misfired it. It could have easily just not hit him. I don't know, it seemed like he walked into it. Using damage type that a boss is weak to generally does very well. Well, yeah, like I'm trying to play like, it, it, unless I get stuck on a boss, I'm trying to play like pretty blind to what the uh, the bosses are susceptible to. Like I'll, I'll experiment in a fight, but if you get, if you play this game and you get, you're stuck on a boss fight, look it up on the wiki. It'll tell you the resistances and you can see like, oh, this one I really need to do, you know, lightning or ice or something. And then you can go into your crafting, you know, craft yourself some poison pots if they're susceptible to poison, ice, freezing pots, whatever, you know, put put the appropriate grease on your weapon or change the affinity on your weapon, load up on the right spells, you know, all that stuff. Where are we? We're in a new land. So wait, does this circumnavigate this whole like gate up here? I'm going to grab this and then I think we're going to go somewhere else. Yeah, this is, I didn't want to start a whole new land. Yeah, Renala was resistant to your source. Renala was, was resistant to my uh, faith too, my holy stuff. I can talk to Mel, uh, Melina. Hmm. We haven't heard from her in a long, long time. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree, and the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Hmm. I'm curious about that as well. 
you remember our accord at the beginning of the game? She said, you're maidenless, but I can act as a maiden. She's not, she's not my maiden. I think if she was my maiden, that would mean that she's part of, you know, the two fingers. She, she said, literally, I can act as your maiden. All you need to do is bring me with you to the foot of the Erd tree. <laughs> the tree has a foot. It does. All right, but I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to do this right now. All right, so I wanted to get that dungeon done. Um, I also... What's the easiest way to get up here? There's a couple things. First of all, let's go here. I realized I never went to this tree, I don't think. Or or what, the, this was over here? I don't know if this is too hard. Let's go check it out. How do I get out of here? What are these materials I'm passing? Ah, uh, faded, faded flowers. Oh, this one looks burnt. have a lot of souls it's not die now Guardian's Bracers. So this Erd tree is rotten. And we've got a rotten Erd tree boss, it looks like. So I think what we're going to do is choke down a couple of uh, rune consumables and level up. I think that's a good idea. Yes. Because I'm gonna die with thirty-one thousand runes. What are you? What are you doing? There's a rotten nerd tree guy here. Ah, uh, ye. And I never went there before. Okay. So what do we need? 3,000? 3,000? <laughs> Act like you got some sense. I don't know what 3,000 is. Two, four, this is four. Um. One of these. Two of those. Two of those. It's still not enough, is it? No. Oh. God. Let me do these at the bonfire and do the math. 
for me. <laughs> Please. Patch that in. I honestly always overshoot, like, overshoot. I know, but I don't want to overshoot too much. It was enough? It was? Did I just <laughs> look at it wrong? No, it's no. not enough still. No, you're I'm still, still short. I'm still short. You're short like a hundred. Can you do a small one? Eh, I can do a... I can do... Uh, do one of the small ones. Yeah, I can do one of these. There you go. That's it. You're done. Got the runes. Okay. I don't know. Uh, more frisbees. It's like, yeah, I want to increase my mind. And then you look up and you're like, that gives me three more FP. That's it. What is that going to do? You feel that way about all of them? Yeah. They're all, it's all slight, slight upgrades. It's real, it's... It's very, very incremental. You need a lot of points in order to see a difference. The only times you really feel like a power increase when you level up is when you can suddenly equip something before that you couldn't previously. Otherwise, the biggest upgrades are when you upgrade like your weapon or you change your Ash of War or you upgrade your summon. Hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> I like that they farted on me while I was knocked down. Oh, hi. Oh, Barry. Who invited Barry? All right, let's work our way in. Damn it, Barry. I better one shot this boss because this is annoying. Guardian Sword Spear. I got their pants. What's a Guardian Sword Spear? Weapon comprising of a long handle and a broad blade sharpened from the hardwood of old trees wielded by guardians of the minor Erd trees known as experts in the arts of combat. The power of this weapon scales greatly with dex. It's a C-scaling dex weapon. Okay. Barry's got gas. He did. You know what's good against trees? Fire. Go, my minions. fight him there. I like how it seems to have similar uh, abilities. Maybe even the same abilities as the other Urtrees, but they put you on like a little narrow strip between the cliff. Like that's nice. It's nice to fight here. Hello. Oh, that's rot. 
Well, you killed my summons, didn't you? rot for me. That was a lot to deal with all at once. I had the rot. I had globes coming at me. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Anybody want a raspberry? You want Regal Peach? Okay. I'll fax it to you. Seem very fast. Burst crystal tear? Nice. Flame shrouding cracked tear. This is for our mixture. Temporarily boost stamina recovery speed. Okay. And fire attacks. Boost fire attacks. You have not used this flask at all. You have no idea how it works. You get you get one uh, one drink of it per per rest. I'll show you. Actually, let me just look over here real quick. Basically, you find those cracked tears, right? And then you can mix any two of them that you want. When you're at a, uh, a site of grace. Oh, there's a little dungeon here. Do you craft them? No. Well, you can, but you can change it. Here, let me show you once I get to the site of grace. Okay, here we go. Another dungeon. So you mix the wondrous physic, right? So these items here, they, they're not consumed. These are just the ones I have unlocked. You can take any two of them and mix what you want it to do. So right now I have it, it raises my max stamina and negates, significantly negates damage. So when I drink that potion, those are the two effects I will get. And it replenishes every time I rest. So it's an extra, just an extra flask that does something cool. So let's say you want it to actually do more healing. You can say, I want it to restore half of my health right there. And then I want it to also restore hit points over time for a while. So now I just got another heal. So that one's a heal. Um, this one will, you know, if I want to boost my magic attacks, and boost my faith, and I can mix it like this. And how long does it last? Well, the only way to really test it is 
check my buffs on the top of the screen when I drink it. See those two? See anything that's diamond shape on the bar up there is a temporary uh, effect. And you can also see the glow on my character. Twenty seconds, thirty seconds—I don't know. Seems seems a while, decent amount. So you get to create your own flask, basically, with the dust. Very useful tool. And obviously, as you pick up more and more of these crystal tiers, you can do different combos of stuff. Um, this enhances charged attacks too. So I like this. Let's. I'm gonna take half of my uh, half of my hit points, come back, and I take significantly less damage for a little bit. All right, let's check out the dungeon. Yeah, it's a little confusing. As far as I know, I think this is the first Souls game that has something like this too. Hold up. Great. More of these guys. My favorite. Thanks for the explanation. No worries. I love helping people with uh, games I'm into. Sorry, I wasn't watching. Any secrets? Okay. Watching my son manage the uh, the torch in the beginning of the game and trying to go through dark dungeons and stuff, I'm like, oh my god, that belt lantern is really the best item in the game. Okay, so we can go two different ways. You always come across things you should look up and understand what I'm playing and then it's sleepy. Notebook. You need happy notes. Does my belt lantern stay on? Yeah. I mean, until I die. Or you rest. What are these things? Oh, God. Oh, no. Get off me! Get off of me! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that was terrible. Yeah. That was horrible. Entrail ent elementals. They just want to hug? No, they don't. They want to envelop me. Slightly different. So those were all clinging to the wall there, huh? Okay. I hear your little pitter patters. Trying to throw bombs down on me. I'll find a way up there, you little jerks. All right, probably not worth it. We'll, we'll find a way around. 
I'm coming for you. 